Traditionally, health and care services have reacted to events, responding directly to a need for care or medical help. The problem with a reactive approach is that both the individual and their carer are often closer to the point of crisis. At this late stage, interventions are more limited, more costly, and they offer less choice and control for the individual. A more preventative approach identifies individuals at risk of reaching a crisis before they get there. Support is put in place earlier, helping build confidence and skills so individuals can maintain their health and independence themselves. This model taps into family and community networks. It reduces dependency and cuts the burden on carers. This is where tech aligns with strengths-based social care. The NHS is developing a more personalized, enabling approach, moving away from a medical model of care, joining up different data sets and tackling social determinants of health to slow the progression of need. Tech can play an important role with monitoring data identifying people in high-risk groups, predictive systems learning behavior patterns and forecasting when extra care is needed, and digital devices helping individuals to manage their own health. For example, Jocelyn cares for Alfred who has memory problems. However, Jocelyn has limited mobility and rarely leaves home. Alfred feels anxious as he cannot go out safely alone. Jocelyn's GP is worried about her low mood and she decided to link the couple with an online carers group and a dementia gardening club. They now have a bed exit sensor for Alfred and a lifestyle monitoring system which showed that he slept better when he'd been active. So Alfred's gardening club offered him more days, and he's waking less at night. Jocelyn is now feeling less anxious. And the cost? The bed exit sensors were fully funded. The lifestyle monitoring analysis was part of the assessment process. The gardening group was funded three days a week, with the couple funding an additional two days. Social activity, exercise and community support were used, rather than medication and intrusive care. Technology-enabled care is transforming people's lives and the services which deliver care and support. The growth of digital solutions is rapidly opening up new opportunities to deliver personalized care and support. When you think tech, think about how you'll use it to protect, detect, and connect.